Hello my soccer universe, it's a catastrophe and no I'm not only talking about the awful performances by Lusk and we'll have a um, focus on this in this video. No, we're also talking about a catastrophe that is actually unfolding here in Austria. We had torrential rainfall starting on Thursday. It didn't really stop and the situation today, especially in Eastern Austria, is really 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 bad. Also led that three games of this bonus league around had to be postponed. Salzburg against Klagenfurt already was postponed on Friday evening evening and then early on Sunday Hartberg hosting Tirol and Austria Wien hosting Sturm Graz all could not happen because of the dramatic situation in the corresponding areas. And honestly, the Derby in Linz was one of those that was earmarked and will likely be postponed. However, Blauers Linz pushed to get it through. Through they got it and they put Lusk in even more pain than they had already been before that match day. So this will take center stage. The reviews of the other games will be rather short because there were only two more of them. In a game that was never really in doubt of being played, Wolfsburg come back from a horrid first half to earn themselves a 1-1 draw against Rapid. The story of the game though was debutant Wurmbrand for Rapid who scored the opening goal and then assisted Louis Schaub for a glorious chance that he put on the top of the crossbar. It really should have been 2-0. Then in the second half Zukic actually quickly got the equalizer for Wolfsburg who were then a little bit more pushing for the winner than Rapid in the second half. Pink having maybe the little chance to get that equalizer. Equalizer. So let's talk about Lusk's 1-0 loss in the Derby, the fifth loss in a row in the Bundesliga. A game that was really on the edge of being postponed, however Blauers Linz really wanted to push it through, did everything to salvage the pitch and to their credit they actually managed to do that. And I definitely can see why they wanted to do it, because you never will get Lusk at a better point in the season with so many injured players missing, also being on a really bad form and giving Marco Schopp more than a week to prepare probably not have worked in their favor when they had really good things going for themselves. Also, of course, postponing a sold-out game usually is not good. You have to refund tickets and so on. So I can definitely understand why Blavis Linz wanted to push it through, even though the conditions were really not great. And by that I don't necessarily mean the pitch, but the outer condition. It has been raining, raining, raining all day in Linz and it was probably not the best condition. And I would say given the alarms that have been going off using resources for a soccer game was maybe not the wisest choice. But to their credit, they got the game started and didn't have to suffer any financial loss there and they got three points to boost. What can I tell you about the game? First half, Blauweiss Linz knew how to shut down the last midfield, so there was hardly anything coming there and how to cut them out in transition and that's exactly how the first goal came when a cross was tapped in by Ronnie Waldo in the 16th minute. There was one big chance for Jovicic that he dragged wide to maybe get an equalizer in the first half. A first half that really was more or less all Blavis Lind. Second half, Lusk actually made some adjustments. They recognized this is a derby game that is played in very awful weather. They had actually pretty big chance early on in this second half when Taui sent Uzer onto the goal and was a great save by Blavis Linz goalie Wittig and then shortly after Uzer again puts a cross in that Stojkovic taps and the goalie stands tall. Those were the two big chances. After that the big action was of course that Laval tried to clear a ball and injured himself in the process. He just had come back from injury. He will be out for a little bit longer and then the game kind of fizzled out. Lust not having the means, not playing a clear ball, never finding the right solution. In the end, actually Blauweiss Linz could have scored a second one when they thought the ball is going out. Blauweiss did in the game. Ronnie Valdo sees his big chance saved by Siebenhandel and there was another one like that as well but Sears basically gifted a ball to Blauweiss Linz that was not happening. And so overall I think Blauweiss Linz deserved their win even though in the last few minutes if they would have played some clearer passes there were ample opportunities to get a shot off but you didn't even get there. So Marcus Schopp's debut went down the drain and so our last chances qualifying for the top six which seemed to be a given ahead of the season. This could be a rough season. That's much easier for certain. I want to add a few more notes to this whole derby situation. First off, and I forgot to say this when I talked about the game, there was a red card late for Mensa for Blauweiss Linz in stoppage time. Didn't really change much for the game. But secondly, 
Yes, it gives me no pleasure, but I have to say congratulations, Plavis Lanes. Yes, you got the derby through. You got the win because you knew, as I said before, exactly this is your best chance of beating Lusk. Not only is Lusk in a really turgid situation, they changed the coach that had only half a week to work with the full squad because of the international break, but there were also plenty of injuries. And I'm sure they knew that if that game is going to be postponed, Lusk will be stronger. Lask now lost two derbies in a row, both at the new Donaupark Stadium, both without the arguably best player. So this is a little bit, a little bit of a caveat to the whole thing. But even if I won it, I couldn't take anything away from Blauweiss Linz. They are really good this season. And if we've seen already in the table, they are now even on schedule to finish ahead of Lusk in the regular season, meaning that Lusk is most likely going to a qualification or relegation round. And before the international break, I already have resigned myself to the fact now after this derby, after the fifth loss in a row, unfortunately it starts to become a reality. And uh, this is not a good reality because let's say the qualification round, that's always a nail biter. My hope is that slowly you can get a full squad together. You have to change the attitudes there. They to everyone talked after the game about hard work, hard work, hard work. But honestly, confidence is shot. And it is so unexplainable, to be honest, how quickly this turned bad. Starting at the game against Altag at home, that went not well. Going into an unlucky loss to Salzburg. Then the unlucky loss on aggregate to Stavar Bucharest, that always was followed by a league loss. Especially the one against Wolfsburg after the really, really bad loss in the last minute against Bucharest. <laughs> Yeah, it is a total negative spiral at the moment. It is really, really, really hard to get out of. My mood was so short yesterday evening that even a big win for Milan, the first win of the season, did not lift that one bit. And I hate when both of my teams are playing at the same time. And this one, yeah, it really hurts at the moment. I think what annoys me most is that, you know, you have chances, but you don't convert your chances. And it is so hard. You have a striker and Ljubicic up there who looks absolutely lost because he doesn't get the good balls from the midfield the midfield is a little bit of a shambles and then in defense it's just wide open it is absolutely a bad situation unfortunately and you can see it in everyone's face no one really knows how why why is it not happening yes injuries definitely play a part i mean you had in Harvard a crucial midfielder missing you have with robert schul probably the most influential player missing you have still the striker that you bought from hartberg maxi entrup is missing a florian flecker who was sensational towards the end of last season he is out with a fractured ankle so those are big misses still the squad should be good enough absolutely good enough to perform much better than they're doing at the moment. Personally, I don't really remember a situation where Lask lost five games in a row. I'm sure it has happened. I'm sure it has happened in my lifetime. There was a relegation season around 10, 15 years ago where I think this has happened for sure. But at the moment, it is absolutely unexplicable. Add to it, you started the season of being a surefire top three, if not top four team, and the qualification to the top six was never in doubt. Major soul searching. The situation reminds me a whole lot about what happened three seasons ago. Coincidentally, it was also a season where we played in the conference league and we beat everyone ahead of us. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we will do well in Europe and bad in the league. I still would hope you're doing well in the league. Now, there's a caveat in there. Even if you fall into the bottom six, you still can qualify for Europe, but you have to go through a qualification route. <music> The last game that could be played was Gerkar's home game against Altach, where Altach took an early lead through, who else, Gustavo Sanchez. Ava Lichtenberger scored a beautiful equalizer for the other team from Graz. And that's what they do. They usually come back, they usually manage a draw, they score beautiful goals. They had plenty of chances to potentially even win that game. However, it was not meant to be. There was also a goal that was called off for offside. Altach hanging on thanks to their goalie. And Gerkar still winless. They're facing Lask next. Ay. Okay, let's have a look at the next round. Lusk is playing the only winless team this season. Maybe they can get a point, maybe they can get a win. 
It's a traditional duel, Lask against GAK. These are the two oldest teams not being from Vienna playing each other. An absolute Bundesliga classic at the moment. It's a bottom of the table clash. I'll be there. Let's hope it will work out for once. Then, of course, the big one is the Vienna Derby. Rapid against Austria Vienna will cause a whole lot of mayhem, I'm pretty sure. But that's always a game to watch. And you see the other games. There are a few interesting games. I think especially Sturm Graz against Wolfsburg could be a really interesting game. And so yeah, it was more or less a derby special. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. Uh, I'm not even frustrated anymore. I'm just gutted, to be honest, because I see the situation is bad and it will not get better soon unless something clicks. In any case, please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel for also more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my Austrian Bundesliga universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!